a delightful and free young lady, left on a critical outing to meet her auntie in the clamoring city of Viana. With a heart brimming with expectation and dreams of a brilliant future, she boarded the train alone. Careless in regards to the perils that looked for her, she sunk into her seat, immersed in her viewpoints. Amidst the excursion, an apparently enchanting and charming man named Daniel started up a discussion with Isabella. With his attractive character and enticing appeal, he effortlessly won her trust. They traded stories, chuckling, and shared snapshots of veritable association. Little did Isabella had at least some idea that underneath his accommodating veneer, Daniel had a dim mystery. As the train moved toward a ruined stretch of open country, Isabella pardoned herself to the bathroom, leaving her possessions unattended for a couple of moments. At the point when she returned, her heart sank. Her pack, containing her telephone, wallet, and significant reports, was mysteriously absent. Alarm flooded through her veins as she understood she had succumbed to robbery. Still up in the air to recuperate her assets, Isabella looked for the help of the train's guide, uncovering the burglary. The guide, perceiving the weightiness of the circumstance, radioed ahead to alarm the specialists at the following station. Isabella's expectation gleamed when she understood that Daniel, the magnetic more peculiar she had experienced, had disappeared from the train. The acknowledgement struck her. The enchanting discussion had been an interruption coordinated by Daniel to work with the burglary. The examination took a dim transform as the police dug into Daniel's past. They uncovered a progression of comparative robberies, each executed with fastidious accuracy. Daniel was uncovered to be a driving force, leaving no hints of his crimes. With still up in the air to deal with Daniel and recuperate Isabella's taken effects, they set out on a tenacious pursuit. As they followed the path of his wrongdoings, the unique pieces started to get sorted out. In a strained and climactic experience, the police cornered Daniel in an unwanted stockroom on the edges of city. Isabella, filled by a blend of dread and assurance, requested answers and the arrival of her possessions. In an exhilarating standoff, the fact of the matter was divulged. Daniel's actual goals were not restricted to robbery alone. Isabella found that he had been utilizing his appeal and insidious strategies to draw young ladies into perilous circumstances. In a last venture of grit, Isabella outfoxed Daniel, empowering the police to catch him. The taken effects were recuperated, and a fair outcome was given. Albeit scarred by the nerve-wracking experience, Isabella arose more grounded, outfitted with the information that her strength had beaten the haziness that had once taken steps to consume her. As Isabella rejoined with her auntie in the security of Viana, she embraced the amazing open doors that lay before her. The experience, however unnerving, had shown her important illustrations, trust, independence, and the strength that lived inside her. With re-established assurance, she set out on another way, prepared to vanquish the world and abandon the shadows of the past. 